What's going on guys? It's Kude here. I'm late. I'm late to this Crypt season. I gotta get into this. I was too busy playing the new Withering Wave game. Now, I know that's already kind of sus, right? It's a Genshin alternative and you know how most Genshin players go down in history for being weirdos. Well, I'm one of them. No, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to try out the new game. Seems all right. The characters. What are we looking at here? What are we looking at? Strike Force Scorpion, Black Dragon Tremor. Yeah, we'll have a look at that later. But let's first start with the gears. Divine Tornadic, Pauldron, Dragon Fangs, and Weather Warfare. I'm liking my options here. Starting with Dragon Fangs. Oh, Lord. We need a new Goro character so badly. We just need a new Goro because this one does not cut it. Classic Goro sucks. And this common piece is just this. It is always good to have these basic rare gears maxed out, but it's a shame. It's a shame. Next up, Divine Tornadic Pauldron. We just had this last season, which is, I mean, fine. I have a repeat again. If you didn't get that the first time, I would definitely pick it up this time around. And if you're getting close to maxing this piece, go ahead and do it. Here's why. Range Brutality is one of the rarest in the game, especially since it doesn't come back very often. Adenian Tower is sought after by practically every player in this game, and Range Brutality together, put together rare and epic, it's more than fine. It's more than fine. It can get many jobs done. While I do like the epic piece a whole lot more than the rare, hey, it does brutality. <laughs> it, it does the thing, the thing you want it to do. <laughs> yeah. Moving on to Weather Warfare. Pick up a copy. Get this thing as closely to Max Fusion as humanly possible, or just max this freaking thing. This is one of the best gears in the game. Cold Tower is unbelievably rare. However, that's going to be changing. While the Cold Tower is not planned to come out right after White Lotus, Cold Tower is still revamped and ready to go. It's rebranded so it's no longer offensive. So we should be seeing the Cold Tower come back at some point in time with, with the new update. That'll be perfect. But for now, pick up a copy of Weather Warfare, prepare yourself because the grinding on Cold Tower will be difficult. <laughs> so you want to get it from here. What is the main reason to buy Weather Warfare? The reason this gear is so freaking strong is that at max fusion, when a character tags in, boom, freezes them instantly. This is a Fusion X ability, which is one of the best Fusion X abilities we've ever seen on an epic piece, honestly. But besides the fact that it can freeze an opponent at Fusion X right on tag in, it also has a 50% chance at Fusion Zero of applying frostbite when freezing an opponent. So this is a good gear to pair with MK11 Sub-Zero if you do not have it maxed out. Frozen opponents remain frozen for up to two successful basic hits. So you can basically chain it. That's one of the best perks of using Weather Warfare is the chainability of this gear. Oh, it makes battles so freaking easy. So all of the gear in this season are an absolute must cop just because of how rare they are. And I know this one won't be as good as Weather Warfare, but it's still gonna be something you'll, you'll enjoy. Moving on to the characters. Let's start from scratch. Master of Souls, Ermac. Poop. Garbage. <laughs> he has some sort of passive. At the end of the day, he's just a support. You can have him fusion level zero and you'll get him from everything else. You do not need any excuse to purchase this guy. Treacherous Tanya, she, she was good at one point in time. She lost all purpose, zero purpose. She'll go down as almost one of the best characters in the game before that buff to towers. Next up, we have Elder God Kenshi. This character is, it basically just stimulates your senses. He's fun to play. That's what I'm, that's how I'm going to put it. He's fun to play. And there's a lot of people who are just going to be unlocking a variety of characters. And this one may stand out to them as kind of a Titan God Kenshi. Really? Uh, you, you might want to go for him. Honestly, if you don't have a single copy, you might want to just because of how fun he is to play. But I will warn you, to be honest, he's not that good. Not at the high level of standards we're going to be putting characters at. So if you just want to have fun, I'd go for it. 
I really would. That I'm gonna be always encouraging that, but practically, don't cop this man. Next up, Strike Force Cassie Cage. Oh, what were they going for? What what team makes? No, oh, what 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 is that on her head? That doesn't look like hair. So this is supposed to be goth girl Cassie Cage, but the only goth character they've ever gotten right in Mortal Kombat is Mavado. Emo boy Mavado is, you know, he's, he's, he's pretty, he's pretty, uh, pretty. On the back it says, it has begun. Who made this? Who made this? It's a 50 year old who doesn't know anything about goth, goth design. Goth can be extreme like this, don't get me wrong, it can be, but most people who are just, you know, lightly going and dabbling into goth don't go to this extreme, and I feel like Cassie Cage out of all characters would not be this crazy, alright? MK11 Cassie Cage is still gonna be the best looking Cassie Cage out there. Black Dragon Tremor. Do you pick up a copy of this man? Can be good on a Black Dragon team, and I've gotten a ton of comments saying, Hey, Kude, Kude, you're not using him correctly. He he can be so good with the Black Dragon team. He can resist so many debuffs. I, I'm going to be honest, guys. I just, I don't see it. I don't see the real reason to buy this guy. And lastly, the character you've been waiting for me to rate is Strike Force Scorpion. Buy him cop him up it doesn't matter what fusion level you have him at you need to max this guy now hear me out time never has an effect on this man he will always be useful his passive works with anybody and everybody he doesn't discriminate strike for scorpion he's, he's my buddy at the end of the day if there's any characters on your team that have no revenant gear and you're scared to run them in a faction wars survival mode match or even the crypt Strike for Scorpion has your back. He will always be on your side when, with his special attack too that regenerates his health even in the background. This guy is just incredibly strong. You could even stun loop with this man. It's insane how good Strike for Scorpion really is. So absolutely cop, cop one, one copy of Strike for Scorpion. It might be difficult considering he is 14,000 hearts and that is quite a lot to ask for a character like him when you can go get him from towers and whatnot but i think he is still rare enough to justify the 14,000. and that's gonna wrap up this video thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe if you are new and yeah peace out